We have seen conservationists and conservation organizations across the world and indeed in Africa pull back both human and natural resources from critical programs in a bid to play their part in curbing the spread of the coronavirus. This means that the dialing down of economic and social engagements and the enforcement of lockdowns and curfews will have both negative and positive consequences on conservation across the continent. I have Jim Nyamu live on Skype with me to explain more. Jim, thank you so much for talking to us. I hope you're well. Yeah, thank you so much, Karen. Yes, I'm well, just trying to monitor uh, these virus. Yes, perfect. Let me start by asking you, how have the changes in dynamics brought about by COVID-19 affected conservation? It's a blessing these guys in one way or the other because the world has never stopped. So there are so many changes we have seen in the park. You know, to be very honest, I have never seen, I mean, uh, hippos, uh, like 20 of them uh, uh, grazing together with the buffaloes in the history. And I saw these in Aposeri. So, and there are so many other changes that are happening. Okay, and in the wake of a pandemic, most fundings are diverted to critical areas. Now, has conservation been one of them, and what incentives have been provided to keep conservation efforts afloat? Unfortunately, uh, conservation has not received any grant. Actually, most of the donors are now, you know, postponing the grants, like WWF were willing to tomorrow was the first May, and they have cancelled a huge grant that was coming to support the conservation. And this is going to, I mean, to uh, have a very bad effect, as you know, that most of the wildlife are outside the park, and most of these communities depend on the donor funding project. So it is going to be a huge loss, you know, in terms of uh, the support, because our communities are not taking uh, responsibility to the wildlife first, but to take care of them, look for food and their health first. What would you attribute to being the greatest advantage to wildlife? in this pandemic period for example less pressure in the ecosystem there is a human wildlife relationship that we have seen over time you know i was in Aboseri at the wake of the pandemic and you can't see animals in the park they have also disappeared the monkeys that used to be close to people you know at the main gate uh, kimana gate uh, remito they have disappeared so that is one thing that we have seen over in time. Animals would want to live with the people. But we have never seen this in, ta in times of immemorial. Nevertheless, we have seen other countries, like in a, in a, you know, even in Europe, some animals like the mountain goats have now come in town. You know? So it's, a, it's, a, it's a something that we are learning that uh, animals have been uh, put at a condition by a human being. And this is conditional reflex. Mm -hmm. There is also concern that there will be an increase in poaching and bushmeat due to the workforce reduction by wildlife authorities and community rangers. You know, most of the communities that live with wildlife, I'm talking of uh, a place like Mara, a place like Lake Kipia, even in Aboseri, you know, the animals, the, we had community conservancies, the, and these communities were playing significant role in supporting Kenya Wildlife Service and other institutions. But now, with the week of pandemic now, they're not doing much of the patrol. So what does that mean? It gives communities another, po I mean, poachers to get in. We've seen already, like, what is happening in Madagascar now. People have gone in looking for meat because they don't have money to buy uh, and they can only get free resources. So we are expecting not even poaching to go to, to raise, but also the bush meat. People are looking for food. Uh, Jim, lastly, research suggests that 70% of these emerging infectious diseases emanate from wild animals. We're all familiar with Ebola, SARS, swine flu, which are zoonotic. How can we globally mitigate against zoonotics being a source of such outbreak? There is no evidence that animals are playing a significant role in epidemiological role in the spread of the human infections. This is the COVID-19. However, because of animal and people uh, can sometimes share diseases like, you know, zoonotic diseases, as you, you say. But it is, an, it is uh, recommended that people who are suggested or infected by the disease, disease should be limited the contact with the people. Thank you so much, Jim. That is Jim Nyamu. I am Karen Karimi, reporting for K24 TV.